The St. Lawrence University in Canton also cites a structural deficit. It comes on the heels of SUNY Potsdam saying it is assessing how to solve a $9 million deficit. At St. Lawrence University, that number is $11.5 million. We hear from the university president tonight with 7 News reporter Sean Brinda. A decrease in student enrollment at St. Lawrence University, partly due to the COVID-19 pandemic, has the Canton campus facing a structural deficit of $11.5 million. University President Catherine Morris learned of it in February. So as a consequence of that, where students pay tuition to go to school, schools like St. Lawrence, many schools like St. Lawrence, are seeing trends downward in terms of the size of their student body and the associated revenues that come in from the tuition that students pay. According to university officials, the highest enrollment the campus had was in 2019, 2,400 students. U.S. News and World Report put enrollment for fall of 2022 at 2,145 students. As of this October, university officials say enrollment sits at 2,089. Yes, we currently have a financial challenge. Yes, it's something that causes a little bit of pain on our campus, but it should never overshadow the fact that we are doing amazing things here, that we have a strong community. Uh, our students tell us that we have great and accessible professors, that we have staff members who care, and that they're having a good experience here. In all, there are 690 faculty and staff members. While officials say there won't be cuts, current vacant jobs on campus will likely go unfilled. We made decisions about places where we just don't need to replace those positions that we've been doing without somebody in those positions for a while. So we're going to just continue to do without somebody in that. The university is also reducing the amount given for retirement benefits to those 690 faculty and staff members. We have found that financially we're not currently able to afford that. That was a difficult decision that nobody is happy about, uh, myself included. And right now, we're in a position of making difficult decisions. The Board of Trustees has given the administration a three-year window to solve these financial problems by fiscal year of 2026. Sean Brenda, 7 News.